Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back to another video here on the channel. In this video I'm going to be unboxing and uh, giving you my first impressions of this Traska Freediver. And this is the model with the mint dial and the stainless steel bezel. This watch has been graciously lent in to me for review, so thank you very much for that. You know who you are. Uh, this watch retails for 375 US dollars on the traskawatch.com website. And without any further ado, let's get straight into its rather small box. So we just open this one up and inside we have a nice pouch with some nice Traska branding there. And this is very nice to see because this is packaging that is useful even after you have unboxed the watch for the first time. So, so that's always a nice touch to see. All right, so let's open it up. There we go. We have some nice soft uh, materials here on the inside. And then the watch sits very nicely here. There we go. So there is the Traska Freediver with the mint dial and the stainless steel bezel. Now let's get closer to this watch and let's go through some of its specifications and my first thoughts about the watch. All right, here we are, now we are closer to the watch. So first of all, the movement inside of this watch is the Seiko NH38, which is basically the NH35, uh, but without the date. And the NH35 is basically the 4R36 movement that you will find in a lot of the uh, mid-tier Seiko divers. It's not a cheap movement, but it is an affordable movement. Um, it is reliable, it is uh, tough, and if you're lucky, it's going to perform very well, and if you're not lucky, it's going to perform decently anyway. So, um, it's all good there. We got BGW9 Super Luminova on all the applied indices and the hands, including the second hand. We have a waterproof rating of 100 meters or 300 feet, roughly. And we have got a double domed sapphire crystal here with AR coating on the underside of the glass. We have a stainless steel bracelet with solid end links and a micro adjustable buckle. And if you haven't noticed already, the stainless steel on this watch is a tiny bit darker than most stainless steel on watches that you would otherwise see. And that is because they have applied their proprietary scratch resistant coating on this watch to make it a little bit more scratch resistant, which is, is very nice to see actually. Um, in terms of the color, as you can see, it's darker than a normal stainless steel watch and it's kind of um, it's kind of like titanium really in its in its shade. We have a screw down crown as you can see. Let me just move the hands so you will see the handset better. There you go. Let's screw that back in. And also we have a 120 click unidirectional bezel which is either going to be sapphire or stainless steel. This one is the stainless steel version. Now, the first thing that I noticed with this watch is the level of finishing. Uh, the finish work on it is, is quite spectacular for a watch of this price. Um, you have some very nice uh, chamfered or beveled edges here that look fantastic on the lugs. And you also have a beveled edge on the inside of the lug, as you can see there, which looks quite interesting, actually. I do like it. On the back we have this nice design here with a free diver and we have some basic specifications about the watch. The clasp is signed as you can see. It's mostly brushed and you do have this nice perlage work here on the on the inside of the clasp which I think looks fantastic as well. Um, I do like the side profile of this watch. I think it looks fantastic. It's basically brushed all the way through. However, you have some very nice polished details that really that really makes it stand out a bit. So, fantastic. But the dial is obviously the main thing about this version of the watch. It's a mint green dial and I think it looks fantastic. I mean, this is a great summer watch, definitely. And also very unique. You don't see a mint colored dial every day. We have, as I said before, um, applied markers. They do look quite great. The hands and the markers have this uh, black border around them, which makes the watch a bit more legible. I think it looks great. We have a lug width of 20 millimeters, giving you a wide variety of aftermarket options. And the coating on this watch, which is supposed to make it more scratch resistant, is actually almost 10 times harder than traditional un treated 316 elf stainless steel. So that is quite interesting. Um, obviously, as this watch is not mine, I'm not going to scratch it just to test that out, but um, I will take their word for it. 
And so that's pretty cool. The watch is 40 millimeters in diameter. It has a lug to lug distance of 48. It's uh, just 12.5 millimeters thick. And the bracelet here, it goes from 20 millimeters and tapers down to about 18. So now let's put this watch on the wrist and show you guys how it wears on my 19.5 centimeter wrist. And to do that, of course, I have to take off the watch that I am wearing today. And this is also a watch that has been very nicely lent in by a follower of the channel. This is the Squally 30 Atmos GMT that I'm going to be reviewing on the channel um, in a few weeks. So stay tuned for that video. Now let's put on the Traska Freediver. So here is the watch as I said, on my 19.5 centimeter wrist. I think it fits very nicely. Of course, the bracelet, as you can see, it's, it's a bit too tight for my hand right now, but I'll, I'll just have to put on a link piece. Anyway, it wears nicely on my wrist. As you can see, it's got a nice size. It's neither too large or too small. And uh, yeah, it's comfortable. So um, thank you so much for watching this quick unboxing and first impressions of the Traska Freediver. And uh, please do feel free to let me know what you guys think about this watch in the comment section down below. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and don't want to miss the review of this watch or any other videos that I'll create in the future. And with that said, I'll see you in my next videos. Bye bye.